travel fast enough, you can actually stop the daylight motion of time. The Earth turns this way, and so it makes sense that if you travel this way fast enough, you will always receive the exact same angle of daylight. Although if you cross the international date line, the date will change, the time, however, will always remain constant. Suppose you are traveling at the equator. The circumference of the equator is 40,075 kilometers, and you have to travel around the equator in a one-day period. So if you take 40,075 kilometers divided by 24 hours, you have to travel at the equator west at a speed of 1,670 kilometers per hour to remain at a constant time. But most people don't live at the equator. They live somewhere north of it, and some people live somewhere south of it. If you live north of the equator, then at a certain plot, you have to find out how far you have to travel around this ring in exactly one day, and there's a crude formula for that. You have to take the length of what this segment would be and multiply it by tau to get the circumference of the ring. And to figure out the length of that, you have to take a closer look. This is the angle south of the North Pole. This is the radius of the Earth, and this is x. You can get at the sine of the angle is equal to x over the radius. And if you rearrange that, then you get that x is equal to the radius times the sine of the angle. And then from there, you can multiply by tau to get the circumference of the Earth at that point, and then divide by one day to get your total speed. And that is the formula, noting that the angle is in degrees south of the North Pole. I, for instance, live 48 degrees south of the North Pole, and if you plug that all into a formula, you get 6.28, which is tau, times 6,368 kilometers, which is the radius of the Earth, times 0 0.74, which is the sine of 48 degrees, all over 24 hours, which would equal 1,234 kilometers per hour at where I live. And right here is a graph showing you how fast you need to go to s stay with the sun depending on how far you are from the equator. And the y-axis is how fast you would need to go.